This is why it's so important to have a president and commander in chief who knows the cost of war, who's ready to do the job on day one. I am ready to do that job when I walk into the Oval Office. Thank you very much. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to go down the line here. Well, you know what? You felt you felt like she was responding. You get 30 seconds. Very good, man. Fair I appreciate that. I hear what you're saying. I would just say I don't want to be. I don't want to be engaged. I wish we were spending all this money in places that I've represented that have been completely forgotten and we were rebuilding. But the reality of it is, if the United States isn't engaged, the Taliban will grow and they will have bigger, bolder terrorist acts. We have got to have some present there. As, the as the as Taliban was Iraq. there long before we came in. They yeah, and they were long yeah, before we exactly. Well, we they can't were. keep you and they were deploying to Afghanistan, thinking that we're going to somehow squash this Taliban that has say, been there. That I didn't every say other squash them. I didn't say squash them. them. When we weren't in there, they started flying planes into our buildings. So I'm just saying right now, the we Taliban have didn't the, attack us on 9/11. Al Qaeda did. Well, I understand. Al Qaeda attacked us on 9/11. I understand. To go after the Taliban, the Taliban was protecting those people who were plotting against us. All I'm saying is, if we want to go in to elections and we want to say that we got to withdraw from the world, that's what President Trump is saying. We okay. can't. I would love you know for us to. protecting Al Qaeda right now. I want to go down Saudi Arabia. I want to go down the line here. Finish up foreign policy. It's a simple question. What is our? What is the biggest threat to? What is? Who is the geopolitical threat to the United States? Just give me one more.